in the first video of this short series we saw the usage of uh, grip, less, tail, more, head, etc. Now we're going to use, uh, show you basics of the utility. It's actually a scripting utility called AWK. Uh, I believe that the, that stands for the creators of those things and the K is uh, Kernighan from the famous Kernighan and Ricci a book for C language. I do remember Linux was uh, written in C for, and those guys in AT&T were keys on that. So I, anyway, I digress. So let's, let's, see, let's see the usage of AWK. What do you want to use that? Well, when you want to format particularly the output of all the grep less and the things that we learned in the previous section. So let me actually use this and let me make it even simpler. I'm going to start by removing this and then we will add it and explain why uh, that's in there. So we are using a grep as before. We say, well, show me uh, all the uh, instances of incoming row in curator.log and pipe it into this utility, which is actually going to show only, and that's the print command, the columns one with the date, the columns two, three, and column 42. Let's actually see what this produces. As you can see, there are all these entries, and there are very many of them, right? And it, what what is putting in, in the entry uh, uh, 251 is actually a value. This is actually events per second. Uh, that are happening in my, in my system and we can actually uh, see it here. Oh, that, that allows me to select. I don't want to see the entire thing. I, I, I only want to see some particular column so that AWK is actually very useful. But let's say that, uh, you know what, I'm not interested in all those, but I'm interested into the, let me actually paste this. Uh, let me clear the screen to be a little bit a little neater here. So what I'm going to be doing is that instead of what I just did, I want to get all those instances, all those columns up before, but only give me the columns in which line 42, those events per second, is greater than, and this is my system, uh, doesn't have that very many uh, EPSs. So I'm going to show where EPSs are greater than, uh, I'm going to put here 300. When my events uh, peak over 300, show me only those lines where I see that. So I, I've hit enter, notice that I get a much less uh, small number of columns, actually they all fit in one page, uh, and we only see when those exceed that. Again, ways of formatting the output of uh, what you are showing. So this is actually a more sophisticated example that, that Polo uh, did. So notice that this is a sequence of piping. So we first say, well, look into curator.log, and here's the path, uh, for anything that has the word incoming. Pipe the result of that and only give me the lines that also have ECS, ingress, ECS. Also pipe that and find me the lines that have the word flow and then format that on the columns one, two, and three and also put this text that will help me understand better my graph says 60 EPS peak, license threshold and then that column and then show me all that in the context of the less view, like we have shown in the previous video, so we can do additional searches in there. And in, unfortunately, in my case, I, I don't have any entry with that, right? But you get the picture of the of the actual uh, command. Let me actually type Q for quit, and you see the multiple usage of the pipings, right? For and and the let me find another example that does have data in my uh, curator.log files where you see the usage of this text to help understand what is it that you are uh, printing. This is a better example. 
So it'll find the word incoming as before in the in that file. Then the results of that pipe it and only give me the lines that has that piece in there, and then the ones that have the flow, and then print those command those columns one, two, three, and then uh, before you print the line 29, put this text that will help me understand. It says 60 seconds EPS average, because well, that, that would make more readable. And then for line 66, show me, uh, put the, the text license, license threshold in there and show me only the last four of those lines. Pipe all that into tail. And here you have it. What if I want the output of this command that we did before, right? But I want these separated, comma separated values because I want to use it in something that reads CSV values. What I have to do is put the commas in between double quotes and that give me that result that I can actually grab it in here and paste it into anything that reads as CSV. I have a few more minutes before the 10 minutes mark uh, and in, in in this directory if we do an ls curator.asterisk there are many files that are compressed and these are the log files that curator keeps and again uh, 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 these are things that have been compressed because they are not uh, they're not uh, being currently used how do I search into those without having to decompress them and no no they don't need to decompress it. For that they are the commands, the same commands as we learned, the the grep command and the cat command, they are, they are the Z versions of it for the gzip, right? So if we were to do uh, for example Z grep, let me see if I get this right, let me get uh, any one of these files. If we do C grep, uh, and I'm going to search uh, case insensitive exception for the word exception in that particular file, and hit enter, well, it did not find that file. My bad. I mean, I. Uh, in the directory where I am, it's not where those files are. Those files are in curator.old and when we go into that directory, we can actually issue that command and this is going to be showing me the content of that uh, finding of that word exception with case insensitivity on that one of those logs without having to decompress it and I instead of the this tail I can use less uh, as we have done before and we we get the same uh, the same information uh, we can also use the zcat you know this file is going to be big right but uh, then we can even pipe it the old way. So again, uh, showing you a capability of looking at the middle control C here, the capability of looking at files that Curator has already compressed without having to manually decompress them all. I hope that this is going to help you find the needle in the haystack, particularly if you are debugging uh, anything in Curator and you want to find uh, stuff in its own, its very own logs. Um, this will also give you an appreciation on how good those parsers, those DSM editor uh, parsers uh, work and search for these things uh, so massively in Curator and get our rules to fire and all that good stuff. But again, if you want to debug like Polo, I hope that this gives you a few ideas, and if you are not initiated in Linux before, a few ideas on how to search on those files.